Robin Young and Sandy Russo wanted to start a family of their own when it was virtually unheard of for same-sex parents to raise children together. So they did, using sperm donors, they had two daughters, Kate and Rye Russo Young, in 1980 and 1981. For several years, Russo and Young maintained a friendly relationship with Rye's biological father, Tom Steele, a lawyer in San Francisco who fought for LGBTQ rights, even vacationing with Steele and his partner. But, as chronicled in Rye Russo Young's three-part docuseries Nuclear Family, which concludes Sunday on HBO, the families had a falling out, Steele shot Russo and Young by suing for paternity and visitation rights in 1991 triggering a legal case that would drag on for years and cause intense end. For Russo Young, 39, who grew up making home movies with her family and eventually became a filmmaker, the story once seemed fit for a fictional feature, but when she tried writing the screenplay, she says, she realized that I still had questions about the case. Despite her reluctance to make a navel-gazing, me and my problems documentary then, Russo Young decided that non-fiction was the best way to answer those questions. She began to gather materials, home movies, legal documents, family photos, archival news footage, and interviewed family, friends and others involved in the lawsuit. Russo Young and her parents, speaking by video conference from their respective homes in Los Angeles and New York City, told the Times about how the experience changed their views on the case, preparing for a particularly difficult interview in the final episode and the story's future as a scripted. Rye Russo Young, I didn't expect my perspective to change. And I don't think it has changed that much, actually. I think it was in some ways a grand exercise in empathy. I understand more deeply where everyone was coming from. My family is still my family. And I've always viewed my moms and my sister as my family, but I'm able to sit with empathy for Tom and be okay with that, as well as the feelings of betrayal and resentment and sadness. Sandy Russo, we trusted Rye implicitly. We knew that she wasn't going to throw zingers at us. She's a director, so she knew how to put us at ease before the cameras started rolling. Sometimes we just forgot that the camera was there. Robin Young, a lot of her childhood, college years and beyond, she just had a camera rolling. So we were pretty used to her sitting with a camera. Even though this was a little more intense. Rye Russo Young, Robin and Russo are incredibly natural and amazing storytellers. And I think that comes across. There's a lack of self-consciousness. That's why I felt that they would make such strong lead subjects and why the series begins with them and their love story.